part 8. We are going to continue with directed numbers. You will find this on page 11 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Multiplication and division. Now, how do we multiply and divide with directed numbers? Now, this is very easy. You can just count the negative signs. If there's an even amount like 2, 4, 6, and even 0, no negative signs, then the sign will be positive. And if there's an odd number, like 1, 3, 5, or 7 negative signs, then the sign will be negative. Now, let's look at an example. Work out negative 3 times negative 5 times negative 1. So let's count the negative signs. 1, 2, 3. 3 is an odd number of negative signs. Therefore, the answer will be negative. So 3 times 5 is 15 times 1, and the answer will be 15. Just like you just multiply like you were multiplying in primary school. The same, if you look at this division, you can only follow it at this rule when you do multiplication and division. Never at addition and subtraction. So if you look, do this division sum, you count 1, 2. Now 2 is a what number? It's an even number. So the sign will be what? Positive. Now remember, if it's positive, you do not have to write down that it's positive. So 20 divided with 5, that will just be 4. So the answer will just be positive 4, but you do not have to write. So there is your answer. Okay. I want you to do for me um, number A, number B, number E, um, number K. Okay. As soon as you're finished, you can stop the video and then you can look at the answers. Try to do it without a calculator because it's unnecessary to use a calculator if the numbers is so small. Okay. Let's start. Try now 9. If we look at number A, it's going to be negative 8 times negative 3. Now, how many negative stripes? I see 1, 2. 2 is an even number. So what will the sign be? Positive. And then I can say 8 times 3, just like primary school, that's 24. If I look at number B, if I have 12, divide negative 2. Okay, how many negative stripes? I just see 1, and that's an odd number, so the sign will be negative. Then 12 divided by 2, what will that be? That will be 6, and that's my answer. Okay, number E. 2 times negative 3 times negative 4. Okay, let's first look. How many negative stripes? I see 2. 2 is an even number, so the sign will be positive. And now, just like in primary school, I say 2 times 3, that's 6. And 6 times 4, that will be 24. And then the last one is number K. That's 10. Divide by negative 2. Multiply negative 1. Now, if you think of bot mass, you will do division and multiply as it comes in the row. So, from, from left to right. So, first, how many negative stripes? I see 1, 2. 2 is an even number, so the sign will be positive. Okay, then 10 divided by 2, that's 5. Multiply 1, and the answer will just be 5. You can leave out the positive and just write 5. Just the same. Here, you can leave out the positive and just write 24. You can leave out the positive and just write 24. Because if, it's, if there's no sign, we know it's a positive. Okay, let's look at a few mixed examples. Let's just move it up a little bit. Okay. So, work out. Now, if you come to 1 and you see a negative. Now, this is actually subtraction, and you can find the additive inverse. But the short way of doing it is to say that that is a negative multiplied. That bracket is meaning multiply. So it's almost like saying a negative multiply a negative. So you can still follow the rules of counting the negative signs. So if you look at this one, um, I can show you just here. 
you can say a negative multiply a negative. It's two, it's an even number, so it becomes positive. And now you can say, if the signs are different, what do you do? You subtract, so that's two, and you keep the sign in front of the biggest movement, and that was negative. And if you look at this one, you can do exactly the same. You can say a negative times a positive. There's one negative stripe, so it's an odd number, so that's why it's staying a negative. And then 4 times 3, what is 4 times 3? 12. And now look, it's negative 12 and negative 12. So what do I do if the signs are the same? I keep the sign. I don't add the negative stripes because it's not multiplication and division. It is addition and subtraction. So if the signs are the same, I keep the sign and I add the numbers. And that's why I get negative 24. Okay. I want you to do... For me, number one, A, and the last one, D. And then number two, we can do A, C, F, as well as I. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. It's try now, 10. So if I look at the first one, number A, remember it's mixed. So I just have to look. Remember always, even in Botmas, you first do more brackets. So if I do this one, I rewrite the negative 4. Now, remember that bracket, I'm just going to make it in red, is, is meaning like a multiplication sign. So this is a positive multiply a negative. So because of the multiply, I can count the negative stripes. There's one. Just one, you just work here, leave out that one. So that's one, so the sign will be a negative. That's an odd number. And then you say three times two, and what is three times two? That is six. And now you look. If the signs, can you see? The signs are the same. That's negative four and negative six. What do I do? I keep the sign. It's not multiplication. I cannot add the negative stripes. It's addition and subtraction. So I keep the sign and I add the numbers and my answer will be negative 10 and if I look at number D so it's negative 10 plus 2 5 minus minus 9 okay so if I look at this one I first going to rewrite this one okay now this is a multiply don't forget I'm going to show you here there's a multiply okay so it's Positive times a positive, so it stays a positive, so it's plus, and 2 times 5, it's 10. Now, remember, if this stands nothing, it's a 1. But in this case, you remember again, that bracket means multiply. So you can say a negative multiply a negative. How many negative stripes? 2. That's an even number, so the sign will be positive. And 1 times 9, that's 9. And now you can go. You can say, because... These numbers are the same and the signs are different. We can say they cancel out. And the final answer will just be 9. You can say positive 9, but you can just keep, just write 9. It's assuming it's positive 9. Okay, let's do number 2. If I come to the first one, this is a mix, so it's negative 9, negative 9. Remember, the signs are the same. What do I do? I keep the sign and I add the numbers. Okay. Um, if I look at number C, so it's negative 16 divide negative 2. Okay. It's division. I can count the negative stripes. How many are there? 1, 2. It's an even number, so the sign will be positive. And 16 divided by 2, that will 8. So you can all either write positive 8 or just 8. Okay. Then I also marked number um, I C D E F. Let's do number F. Um, number F is negative 5. It's a multiplication sum. Negative 6. In multiplication, I can count the stripes. How many stripes? 1, 2. It's an even number, so the sign is positive. 5 times 6 is 30. Or you can just write 30 and leave out that positive sign. And then the last one is number i, and that's 2 plus negative 18. 
Now remember, if there's nothing in front of the bracket, it's a 1. Okay, so if I start rewrite the 2, remember it's a positive. And now, a positive times, I'm just going to write it again. This is a multiply. Okay, don't forget. So a positive times a negative. There's one negative stripe. So it's an odd number, so the sign will be negative. And then 1 times 18 is 18. But now look, the signs are different. Remember, the number grabbed the sign in front of it. So what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract the numbers, so I get 16. What is the biggest movement? Was it positive 2 or negative 18? It's negative 18, and that's why the sign will be negative. So the answer will be negative 16.